We have Jacob Pierce. How are you doing, Jacob? Good, good. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Matthew. Oh, no, thank you for coming on, especially when I think I asked you like three hours ago. <laughs> to no come problem. On. So you are the news editor at The Good Times, correct? That's right. Where, did you start off as the new ed news editor? Uh, I started off as a uh, part-time staff writer at okay. uh, Santa Cruz Weekly. Oh yeah. When that was when that was a paper, and then um, about maybe five years ago, something like that. That more than that, even I think the uh, our the owner of Santa Cruz Weekly, who was who was our boss, he he bought uh, Good Times, and 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 uh, as part of the acquisition, he merged the two papers. Yeah, Dan, right? Dan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. So, and so when that merged, then what did you become? What, so, so that's when I became news editor, news editor shortly okay. after that. Yeah. Elizabeth Limbach, who oh, was yeah. kind of a, a mentor of mine who I had already known. Um, she moved on shortly after that and went to Santa Cruz Waves. So yeah. I was I was really sad to see her go. But um, but that, that's when I stepped into that. Does that she role. still live around town? I, I hope so. Yeah, I, I guess I haven't talked to her in a minute. Because I know I've worked with like Santa Cruz Waves a lot, and I, her name always comes up with like I never yeah. actually see her, which is through email. But um, so, what is the news editor? What does that actually mean? What's your day to day life? Yeah, it's it's um, well, I, I manage the news section, obviously, which is uh, a uh, you know we have a, a large news story and then a shorter news story, and then about a year ago, Steve. Decided, my boss, uh, the editor, right? The, yeah, the editor, Steve yeah. Palopoli, he uh, decided to bring back this Nuz column that we used to have. Yeah. Uh, so I, you know, uh, am involved in helping to edit that also. Um, so, wait, so there's there for the Nuz article, or section, or is it a column or? What, yeah, either yeah. one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Is it's multiple writers? Um, that's a better question for Steve. He doesn't want me to, yeah, okay. I, I think he, he w wants it shrouded in mystery, like how it's, that. how it's made and, and who it is and who it okay, isn't. So we'll have Steve come on next. That's a good explain. idea. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um, and then you also, not just, just the editor, which is huge, but you also write your own articles, right? Right. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I do. And, and I, I contribute occasionally to other sections, to food and to, to arts, yeah. uh, music stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just recently, I remember there was like a bluegrass article. Oh yeah, I had yeah. a lot of fun with that. Yeah, yeah, cool so, band, Hocktail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? You mentioned that you had a lot of fun with that. Like, what is your like the perfect article that you want to write or story? What 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 really like wakes you up in the morning? Like, okay, this is really going to be interesting. It, for me, it's it's curiosity. Okay. It, it, it's wondering. Um, what the truth is or how something's working or or how people are um thinking about something um why people came to the conclusions they did how things work um or for a music story like what makes this music so moving and why and why are they making it yeah that's yeah cool I, I like that you also get to have a different it's not just one lane of writing you're not writing no just about city council every week Right, but, but you do get a write about that bluegrass album, or you do get a write about you know something else that you know that you find interesting. That's that must be very like creatively fulfilling. It is. It is. Yeah. I mean, I guess I, I've been um, been with the paper a while, and that's that is a large part of what keeps it interesting. Is I, I get to use different parts of my brain, and yeah, I get to think creatively like that. Is it super stressful though? Because it's a weekly newspaper, or you know, a publication. I mean, like, it's not that just like, okay, w w we have a whole month to come out with this or a quarter to come out. It's like every week we have just something to do. Is that, is that stressful? It can be. It can be. And there, there are weeks where something breaks on Monday and we're trying to figure oh, out how to work it Tuesday, in. Or... You need to like, it goes to publication. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 Or, um, occasionally we've tried to shoehorn things in the last minute on a Tuesday or sometime on a, on Monday you get sick and you're not feeling it. And then um, you know, you're just not motivated, and so it takes a long time to grind out those, the you know that 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 end of that piece. But um, but, you know, but it, it is really fulfilling too. I wonder. I, I, I think about this. So you know, I I run event Santa Cruz, and it's a you know it's a it started off as every month we would have a speaker series, and I remember a lot of people told me like you can't do this every month. You know, there's not as enough interesting people in town, and then I think about your magazine. Our publication and it's like 
we will never run out of interesting stories or people to cover, will we? Yeah. I, I think that's right. Yeah. I think that's right. Yeah. I wonder if it's Santa Cruz. Like, I mean, of course, anywhere. There, there's always an interesting story with somebody. But I just feel like Santa Cruz, we just have such an, you know, we're a small, big town, but we just have so much, I don't know, artistry, creativity, or something that just makes it, like, I feel like you'll never run out of things to, to write about. Yeah, I think a lot of people care deeply about this town, and I think I think that's part of what keeps it interesting. Yeah. Okay, so you were nominated a ridiculous amount of times for the 2000 Nexties, 2020 Nexties, sorry. Oh, wow. 2000, oh, yeah. And, it got, and, <laughs> got, and then, of course, when the selection committee got together, they said, obviously, everybody thought you were, you know, would be a, a great fit for that. Um, when you first heard about it, were you surprised? What, what was the what was the reaction to find out you were actually the writer of the year? Oh, I was I was I was really excited. It's um, you know it's it's one of those th those things where there are so many different ways you can you can look at it. If you look at um, you know each each category, there are a number of different ways you can you can interpret you know yeah. who's the best athlete is is it you know a record-breaking running back at aptos high or yep. is it you know a spike ball athlete you know um so for something like this you know there are just so many great journalists local journalists um i think a you know published author is it douglas um i can't remember the name of the guy but oh am yeah, it was yeah last a year. abram yeah Abrams. last year yeah. yeah um seems like an amazing author we have you know pulitzer at least one pulitzer prize winner here and martha mendoza so she um, was actually, yeah. 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 So, so yeah, it was, it was, I was, uh, I was surprised and I was excited and, and I, honored. I think one of the, the, how the selection committee picks the honorees, it's not just, you know, how amazing they were, but are they involved in the community? Sure. Yeah. And that's such a bit, I mean, that's part of the nexties. That's like the DNA of the nexties. It's, it's really, it's a community focused awards. And so, um, they felt like you had some really hard hitting articles that you were, you know, just, you put some, a lot of work into your, your, um, you know, into your writing. And we're just hoping that, you know, good times gives you a raise. That's not, yeah, not. <laughs> okay. So uh, it's happening. Um, the next is happening March the 20th at Hotel Paradox, more information at eventsantacruz.com. Um, if they, I don't know, since you are the news, um, you know, news editor, if, is there like, if there's news stories, is it like, do you want people to be emailing you or if like, oh, I found this out, I like, yeah, never... yeah, people are always welcome to email me, jake at, at goodtimes.sc. It's hard to, uh, you know, it, it, it's hard to stay on top of all the things that, yeah. that you know, we think are newsworthy and the other people think are newsworthy, but I, I, we love hearing from people and, and, and getting, getting story ideas too. Great. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Jake, for being on the show and we'll see you on March 20th. Thank you. Okay. Well, we're going to play a little bit of music. I remember first night.